Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window. Today we're going to be doing another Overwatch. You can see the suspect has 12 kills, 108 damage a round. It's only the 13th round, so he's averaging about a frag per round. And uh, looks like he's going to make his way over here towards the middle. Woo, that was a lock-on. That was definitely a lock-on. So there's a guy on the other side of the doors right there, and he locked right onto him. Uh, bot pushed through here, locks on him as well. Pre-fires pyramid and lets the auto aim just kind of go right on target for him and yes this seems to be some sort of silent aim and he's gonna be making his way over here towards the middle he's able to take down mask and that's just gonna leave zebra left and zebra however seems to be just kind of sitting around in the middle holding the bomb to make sure no one comes after it he is able to take down the suspect though is Zebra cheating, or is he just a higher level player? Either way, the suspect's going to be picking middle with a, with a auto sniper here. And he's able to take down Zebra right off the bat. So it looks like Zebra won't be able to clutch this round. One more guy wants to cross, but he's kind of scared to do so, because he knows if he tries, he's just going to get tagged. And he's actually going to... maybe... possibly? He's picking towards middle, and he actually gets taken out from B. All right, well, looks like the terrorists have the B site and they'll be able to plant that bomb easily. Meanwhile, the suspect's kind of just sitting here AFK in terrorist spawn and his teammates are pushing out through the B doors and just kind of holding to see if anyone's going to rotate off. Now, the CTs seem to want to save their guns, but one of them goes down to Toucan and it looks like Hurricane and Pyramid are just kind of holding right now, seeing if anyone comes aggressive enough that they can get an easy pick. Uh, it looks like... Hurricane kind of got a little more aggressive than he probably should have, but Pyramid's able to take down two of them. And, well, the suspect is back just in time to watch this round finish itself off with that bomb explosion. So it looks like two CTs were able to save their guns, and the suspect's going to make his way back over here towards middle and pick it to see if anyone tries to go over towards B again. But it looks like all the CTs are actually coming over to the A site. One realizes that and actually goes back to CT spawn. And I'm not sure if he's just going to pretend to be AFK or what exactly he's going to be doing, but it looks like no one is watching B. And because of this, the terrorists are all going to be able to easily mosey their way right in and plant that bomb. Meanwhile, one CT is pushing through long here. Looks like the suspect just realized he's there, looking at him through the wall, setting up for him, shoots him in the face in the back of the head. Shoots through the back of his head to his face, something like that. Either way, he does take him down, and well, the CTs are just kind of sitting there in CT spawn, not entirely sure what they can do, and I can't blame them because with that auto sniper, just crossing mid would be a challenge in its own. And the suspect's able to take down Hurricane as well. He's going to leave one CT. He's going to go down. And, well, the sides have changed. And the suspect only has dualies this time. Taking some shots towards mid. Doesn't really tag anyone up. But one of the terrorists is dead. He's going to be making his way over here towards B tunnels. He looks towards the tunnels. Doesn't spot anyone out, so he figures it's clear. Meanwhile, the bomb is making his way up Catwalk and able to take down his teammate. He's able to take down Mask. And it looks like he's going to be trying to flank the guy up here on Catwalk. Should be able to get there with plenty of time. Pyramid's watching, but Pyramid's not able to react. In fact, I don't think there are many legitimate players that could react to that. Oh! Oh, maybe Zebra! Damn! But I don't know if Zebra's legitimate. Uh, either way, Suspect's kind of holding here and waiting. He's going to try to peek out now that the bomb's being planted. And yeah, Zebra doesn't seem to be legitimate. Just tagging him through the wall and well it's just a hacker versus hacker right here and it looks like the CT is gonna go down to Zebra all right so now terrorists kind of have control of this because Zebra can just pick middle and make sure that nobody can cross over to the B site and it looks like he's tagging them through the wall and the suspects kind of screwed here the tables have turned but maybe Zebra was the reason that uh, the suspects are cheating in the first place Either way, not entirely sure, but he's able to take down these two terrorists in middle, which one of them had the bomb. How lucky can this guy get? And Mask is all the way over at the B site. Looks like Pyramid's over towards Long. Suspect takes a shot towards Long, but actually shoots the guy over at B. And that's because that FOV is maxed out, and he can do 360s. He's just staring at Mask right now. Meanwhile, Zebra is just kind of sitting there in middle, pushing out. And Zebra is able to take down the Suspect. I'm going to have to put my money on Zebra as the better cheater. Either that or just the 
bought better hacks, right? Either way. Nade's gonna come in and do a little bit of damage here to the suspect who doesn't have body armor. Down to 98 health, one guy pushing his way up catwalk, that would be Pyramid. And suspect's gonna rotate around here. Look at him straight through the ground. Zebra's pushing out. Oh, he's able to react to Zebra before Zebra can actually shoot him. Which is a good thing for him, because Zebra seems to be the only guy on the other team that's able to do any kind of damage to him and kill him. Suspect's over here next to Catwalk. You know the guy's up there, very low on health. He's able to tag him in the face, and that means that one guy's going to come from long. That would be uh, the bot with Zebra playing him. And, of course, he's got a scout, which means he's got a good chance to take down the suspect here. Oh, actually, he's got an AK. I thought he had a scout. Uh, Mask has a scout, and the suspect's going to take him down. So that leaves the suspect versus Zebra, and they're both staring each other down as if this was the Wild West. Okay. Oh, Zebra's able to get the kill there. How does that even work? Is that just ping, or does the program have better reaction time than the other program? Why is his shooting faster? <laughs> Either way, the suspect is able to take down Zebra right off the spawn. But now it looks like there's another guy picking middle, probably Zebra. Zebra is able to tag him down to 38, but the suspect's going to win that battle, and because of that, he should have this no problem. He's spamming the guys through the floor here. I want to get a kill for this one of these days. One of these days, I'm just going to try to spam someone through the bottom of that. Now that is spammable again. I mean, it seems like it's very spammable since the auto sniper can do so much damage to it. Either way, the suspect's going to try to pick Zebra here in the middle. He actually gets hit for quite a bit of damage, but he is able to take him down. And as long as he can get, uh, take Zebra down one more time when Zebra gets on the bot, then it, I think the suspect's going to have this round. He's holding right here, just kind of waiting. And oh, Spinbot comes in! Zebra decides to up his game, but it's still not quite good enough to take down the suspect. I think that was an angular advantage. Either way, looks like... One's going to push long, and Hurricane's going to go down. And that's going to leave two terrorists left. That would be Pyramid and Mask. Now, Pyramid might be cheating as well. Pyramid has a ton of kills. But he hasn't been shooting him through walls or anything suspicious that makes me think that he is. He's just been taking down the guys that aren't cheating. Which is kind of a feat in itself, because, uh, you know, if you're a legitimate player in this game, out-fragging someone with a freaking spin bot, you're doing something pretty impressive. Still, though, there is no way to tell for sure that uh, Pyramid is legit. He could be cheating as well and have an aimbot. He just might not have cheats that are as good as the other twos, or maybe he just doesn't have wall hacks turned on. Either way, Overwatch resolution time. This guy is going to definitely get banned. It's a shame I can't ban Zebra as well, because we could obviously tell that he was cheating. Uh, major disruption aim assistance, evident beyond reasonable doubt. Major disruption vision assistance, <laughs> evident beyond reasonable doubt. And then we got Major Disruption Other External Assistance, which I actually don't think I can call. I don't remember him bunny hopping anywhere. And he definitely wasn't using a spin bot like Zebra on the other team. I would like to know who ended up winning that, just because, you know, uh, it was kind of interesting watching them kind of show down each other. It looked like Zebra took the advantage for a while, but then the suspect took the advantage back. And then Zebra decided to start spin botting. And even though he went down there, I wonder if that would have influenced the game later on. Either way, hopefully Zebra does get banned, like I said. And, uh, well, this guy is definitely getting banned. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And have a great day.